What's up, mentorship freaks? It is the daily dose of the mentorship motivator coming to you live from California, and it's a freaking rip off cloudy skies. But anyway, today we're talking about leadership strength. And if you remember last week, there was a video here on the mentorship motivator about heart versus head. We went over this is kind of a part two to that, it feeds right off of that, and they both fit right into the last presentation of ED, emotional discipline. It all fits together. A lot of this stuff we go over ties together is to refresh it, to keep these things fresh in your head, to give you a little kickstart in the morning. So today it's about leadership strength. Leadership strength. First, you know that our emo- any, anything that happens, anything that occurs, hits the emotional part of your brain first before it gets to the logical part of your brain. So it, you, always your first initial reaction when something happens, is your emotional reaction, which as a leader, as an ass kicker, as an entrepreneur is a lot of time your initial reaction is you need to show force. You need to to freaking slam Thor's hammer down. You need to crack the freaking whip. And that's the way you think about it. But that's not necessarily going to be the best solution all the time. You need to control that initial emotion so that you can think and respond logically. Let that get into your logical brain before you just snap. And Strength, leadership strength really is applying your strength. How do you how do you apply it? It needs to be like a calm, a measured. And I'm about to use a word that I'm not really known for using or being, but it just fits perfect. You need to you use your strength in a calm, measured, and even a gentle manner. Yes, I just use the word freaking gentle because I'm just a gentle human being. But you need to learn how to motivate, inspire, and get compliance from every freaking team member as well as a team as a whole. So from each individual, but also the team as a whole. And you're not going to do that by just always slamming the hammer down. You're going to lose respect for your team. They're not going to come to you with shit. If that's how you're just, your leadership style is always just stomping down and cracking the whip only. We know P-O-P, you need to get pissed on purpose. Only pissed on purpose when it's going to be with the intention of moving things forward and getting a positive, ending up turning it into a positive reaction. Not just where you're out of control because losing control, screaming, yelling, insulting, all this other stuff is going to get you zero freaking results. You'll get nothing accomplished with that. Now, of course, sometimes you need to be firm, and, but sometimes you need to be flexible. Sometimes, having, sometimes you have to have the strength. It takes more strength to be gentle. That word, it's hard for me to even say that word, but it, it takes more strength to be gentle than it does to crack the whip or to... You know, it it takes strength on the inside to be gentle on the outside because that shit is not easy, especially when your initial reaction, someone does something real stupid or makes just a bonehead mistake. You need to, and this all goes back again to heart versus head. And if you've read the book, Dichotomy of of Leadership, it kind of all ties into that, ties into the emotional discipline presentation that we went over in the last mentorship workshop, which you haven't seen, I could post it. I think I have the videos posted here in the group. If you weren't there, I could post that for you. But sometimes you need sometimes you need strength to force things, right? You need to force things sometimes. You need to force compliance. So we're not saying to always just be a softy. We're just saying leadership strength is knowing when to apply force and when to be more gentle, right? Sometimes force is required, but often there's nothing stronger than the strength to be freaking gentle. It's a lot harder to be gentle than it is to show force. It's easy to pick up a hammer and stomp a fucking ant or a grape with a hammer. But it takes strength to be a little more gentle. Now, because you know it's easy to get mad. It's so easy to get freaking mad that, and, and it's hard to stay calm. It's easy to just snap, get pissed off, start yelling and screaming. But it's hard to be gentle, understanding, especially in certain situations. But that's what you are here for. That's why you're the leader. You're the ass kicker. That's why you're the entrepreneur. You're the one that needs to step up and be the pro, be the professional, be the leader, be the, the mentor to your team, to your members. To, and this... And this doesn't just go in your business. This is in all aspects of your life. Think of it in, in the sense of your family, not just your leadership team, but your peers, each other in this group, your prospects that you lead, people you're meeting with in a sales meeting, a sales appointment, a sales consultation. You need to think that also. You need to have that balance between force and being gentle. When you're trying to sell someone something, you can't just shove it down their throat, but you also just can't be a softy and just let them slide when they say, no, I can't afford it. Because it's, it's, it's easy. There's an easy way out and there's a hard way out. Abraham Lincoln said, there's nothing stronger than gentleness. And I think he was a pretty smart dude. So I like to listen to a lot of what that guy said. So how do you do this? You get this to, by knowing, getting to know your team personally. 
get to know them personally outside of the business, out, off of the operating floor. You know, not just when everything you talk to them about shouldn't be about work. Like, how's their mom? How's their dog? How'd their kid do on their math test? Shit like that. Like, you need to get to know them. Have open and honest communication with them, unrelated to business, and that's going to eventually open up the waves for open, honest, vulnerable communication in the business because they're going to feel that they, they, can, they know you, they trust you, that you know them, that you've built a different type of relationship with them. So getting to know them. And this is also going to help you understand as you get to know them, what kind of leadership approach you need. Some people need you to crack that whip. Some people need you to say to them, like, what the fuck did you just do? Why did you do it that way? You need to do it this way. They, some people need that, that toughness, but some people need you to say, oh, you're doing so awesome, but if I could just give you one little suggestion, they, and, and people need you to talk to them in different ways. So getting to know them personally is gonna help you determine what type of leadership style is gonna work for that person, and, it's, and it, for that individual and also just for the, the team as a whole when you're talking about groups. So it comes down to the, the balance between force and gentle. Just like last time we talked about difference between head versus heart. And that's what emotional discipline was, the ups and the downs. That's what it comes down to. That And, and leadership strength is knowing when to have the soft, smooth approach and knowing when to crack the fucking whip. That's really the difference. There's a time and a place for both and a time and a place for both with everyone. And it really depends on the situation and Again, this is one of the hardest aspects of leadership when it comes to your kids, when it comes to your team, when it comes to your family, when it comes to your friends. This is the hardest aspect of leadership, balancing the difference between, all right, when do I show strength? When do I show gentleness, compassion, understanding? Because you can't go too far to either end or you're going to get run over, you're going to screw up, you're going to lose respect, or you're going to get taken advantage of. Because if you're only the whip cracker, no one's going to respect you. They're going to, sure, they're going to perform great when you're around. But guess what? When you're not around, they're just going to resent you and they're just going to slack off and not get shit done. They're going to make excuses, blame each other. If you're just always that whip cracker, putting, you know, micromanager and all that other stuff. So find that difference between the strength and the gentleness. That is real, true leadership strength. Finding that balance in between the heart versus the head, the, the strength versus the, the gentle. And this is going to make you a much better leader. And in the, in the end, in the long run, if you're thinking the long game, it's going to make you a lot more freaking money because you're going to have a happier team who's going to service your clients better because that's ultimately what it comes down to. So this is the Mentorship Motivator. Any questions, comments, put them down below. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.